Welcome back. Well, conservative leadership hopeful Kevin O'Leary is touring Atlantic Canada in the aftermath of a controversy over membership sales. There have been developments on the Maxime Bernier campaign allegations against O'Leary. And Kevin O'Leary joins us from St. John, New Brunswick. First off, Mr. O'Leary, the Maxime Bernier camp has basically folded his cards. It won't provide those affidavits for the party to investigate those allegations against you. What's your reaction? You know, it's really not about one campaign or another. It's clear to all Canadians and certainly all candidates and every member of the Conservative Party that at the end of the day, and I've asked for this in the beginning, I've talked to the leadership multiple times now, I want every single member vetted and audited. That's the only way you can know with certainty, regardless of which man or woman leads the leadership contest, how they can start their mandate without the taint of fraud. We owe that to ourselves as a party, as the candidates, and as Canadians. And by the way, there's people from all around the world going to be looking at that outcome. We don't want that mandate tainted with fraud. The only way to do it is to vet and audit every single name on that list. And it's not that many names. We're dealing with maybe 150,000. The party's got to use software to do it. I'm assured they will, but the world will be watching. Canadians will be watching. The candidates will be watching. Every single name, every one, right down to the last one, okay. audited. So we know this whole thing ends without the taint of fraud. Well, but the, the taint, I gotta say, has been applied to you by another candidate who called you a loser. What do you want to say to him? Look, I don't look at the other candidates and call them anything. This is a race to take out Justin Trudeau in 2019 from his incompetency. All of those candidates have good ideas, and I promise them I'll take the best ones to Ottawa with me. But at the end of the day, I come from the world of financial services, transparency and compliance. That's how we're going to be running the, the Conservative Party from now on, with transparency and compliance. I don't, I, look, I'm not, I haven't been a politician. So I've never seen this idea of, of prepaid credit cards and all this crap. We got to get rid of this stuff. We're not doing this anymore. Whoever is doing it, I don't know. I'm not making any accusations. And the way we're going to clean it up as a party is ask the party when they get the list on the evening of 5 o'clock on March 28th, vet, audit every name. I think it's very simple. It solves the problem and we move forward. And if there are irregularities or illegalities here, should the party kick out the candidate that's responsible? That's their decision. I don't run that administration for them. Those are the party rules. All I know is I pay $10,000 uh, penalty fees when I don't show up for a debate where there is no debate. I wonder what the fee is if you've done fraud. They'll have to let me know on that one. And you'd that's like, their you, decision. You definitely, and on top of all... You definitely uh, look, want I'm the just, na names released, though. Ahead. You definitely want the names released of anyone that's found guilty of improperly selling it, memberships, correct? That's the, that's the party's decision. They'll do what they're going to. But what I want to make sure, I only have one request, and I believe it is consistent with all candidates. Do not mail a ballot to a fraudulent name. That doesn't help anybody. The party, the candidates, the members, Canada, it is a big mistake to allow even one instance of fraud into this process. The party can take that data now. They've got the technology. Clean this up. That's all we're asking. 